Hello friends. This week's marketing video is about the features in LinkedIn called creator mode. And this was inspired by my friend Byron Ginsburg, who was telling me, Hey, did you know you can put your URL right beneath your professional headline on your LinkedIn profile if you're in creator mode? And that started a whole thought process for me of sharing with you what creator mode is on LinkedIn. A lot of people have no idea what this is about. But what they've seen and what you might have seen is that people are asking you to subscribe to a newsletter on LinkedIn that they're creating and putting out on a regular basis. Or you might have seen some of your connections on LinkedIn go live with a live stream on LinkedIn. LinkedIn Live is what that's called, where they can interact with people in their network or in their audience and act, you know, do a Q&A, uh, that kind of thing. So this is the creator mode help document on LinkedIn. And I thought I'd walk you through this just so you can understand more about what creator mode is. Creator mode is a profile setting on your dashboard that can help you grow your reach and influence on LinkedIn. You can turn on creator mode to get access to additional tools and features that help you create content and grow your audience based on LinkedIn. So some of the benefits, and you might start seeing these on other people's profiles um, of the things that they're doing, like uh, inviting you to subscribe to their newsletter or some other things, um, maybe live streams that they're doing on LinkedIn. So let's go through some of the benefits of being in creator mode. So this first one is the connect button on your profile will change to follow. So instead of them clicking connect, they will follow you because you're going to be putting content out. They can still send you a connection request on LinkedIn, but it's under the, the more options button now. So that is something to consider. If your primary use for LinkedIn is connecting to people and not creating content, this probably isn't the right answer for you. But if you are putting out content on a regular basis, this is a really good option and it opens up some other creator tools that I'll talk about in a second. So when someone sends you a connection request after you turn on creator mode, they'll also follow you while they await your response. And if you don't accept that connection request, they'll still be following you so they can see your updates. Um, I'm going to skip the display and the topics and hashtag stuff because most people uh, aren't going to care about that. But they'll highlight your original content on your profile by moving your featured and activity sections to be the first things on your profile. So as you know, I put out these videos pretty much every week and I'm doing activity on LinkedIn on a regular basis and I want that to be front and center after they see my profile photo and some other stuff. So I like the fact that they're moving the, the activity and content section up. Um, then the next thing that's important is down here, you can get access to creator tools such as LinkedIn Live, which is where you go live and you, you gotta, gotta have your webcam set up just like this. Uh, and you can and people can comment on your live stream on LinkedIn. I haven't seen a lot of people doing that. There's a couple here in Kansas City doing it, uh, but you can get access to that tool. I have that access, and I've not done LinkedIn Live yet. That would probably be a fun series to run and see how people tune into that. Um, once somebody does go live, they get notified. The network of people they're connected to gets notified through LinkedIn that they're going live. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so the other thing is the LinkedIn newsletter, if you meet the access criteria. So I didn't do anything special uh, to get access to creator mode, so I'm pretty sure they're rolling it out to lots of people now. Um, and the LinkedIn newsletter thing is once you subscribe to somebody's newsletter, it's a newsletter hosted within LinkedIn. And as people make content updates to their newsletter, you get notified through the LinkedIn app and can read their newsletter. I'm pretty sure actually... I get an email. I am subscribed to one person's LinkedIn newsletter and I'm getting an email with the newsletter content in it whenever they post a new newsletter. So that's kind of nice that they're trying to roll out some of these things. And finally, once you're in creator mode, you can you can access creator analytics so that you can see more about the traffic that's coming to your site and things like that. So that's the help document on creator mode. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you is that um, when you do set this up on your profile, there's this additional URL that's front and center on your profile uh, that you can, when you're in creator mode, I was able to put the link to my website right there under my uh, contact information or my name and profile information. So that's what LinkedIn creator mode is all about. And I'm sure they're going to continue to add features and functionality to LinkedIn creator mode over time. So I'm in a trial with this right now. I turned it on on my profile and I'm starting to play around with some of the features and I'll see if I keep it on or not. Uh, but I am creating content on a weekly basis, so there is a benefit of that, just having that at the top of my profile. 
I hope you found this helpful. Next week, I'm going to talk about some LinkedIn settings that you might not know about. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't, so you'll be notified next week when my next video goes out. There's some things in there like not showing political related content in your feed and not showing sponsored ads from third parties from LinkedIn that you're going to want to know about. I'll see you next week.